Hi, welcome back to this series of creating a hoodie for video game development. In the last episode we created the main base of our zip-up hoodie in Marvelous Design of 5 and we will be continuing from there. In this episode we'll be making the sleeves and the hood. Okay, so for this point we have our base body, the bottom collar which keeps the hoodie all together and where the zip's going to join up. Now we want to create the sleeves. Now I'm just going to hold this together and as you can see the sleeves are actually quite low in this garment. So I'm just going to select these three points and I'm just going to move them up a touch. I'm going to say about 20 millimeters, and I'm going to re-simulate. I'll drag it back together, pause it and I'd say this sleeve there is actually quite small now and it's about right. I'm also going to delete these fabrics over here, add a new one, and I'm going to name this Cotton. And I'm going to use the preset D Cotton. Select everything, go to Fabric, and go Cotton. And now it will give us a more realistic feeling of what our hoodie will simulate like. So now for the sleeves, we have to do a very strange shape. So. First off, I'm going to check the line of this, and that's 228.51. I'm going to create a quad. I'm going to put 228.51, because that's the distance I want to work off, and a height I'm just going to leave at 500 for now. Now at the top here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uniformly split this into about six parts, as we need to create a curve. So the curve is going to start at the top here at this point and then it's going to go slightly down and then slightly further down until we get something a bit like that. And now I'm just going to convert all this to curve and we can edit use edit our curve using this curve edit. So this is of 229.99. So as you can see, the more we play with this curve, the more it's going to change. And we're looking for a shape, something like that. And now we just need to make it shorter. Easiest way to do this is to find the difference. So 231.95 minus 22. 8.51, I have a bad memory, and that's 3.44. So I'm just going to drag this side and put in 3.44, and now we have our sleeve. And we just need to also taper this in a bit. Next I'm going to unfold it at that line so we get our full sleeve, select it in the 3D view, rotate it, put it on an angle, and then I'm going to move it up to the arm. Now I can already see that that's going to be a very short sleeve. So I'm going to delete that point at the bottom here as well. And I'm just going to drag it down a bit. Next, I will sew this part of the sleeve to the front. And then we'll do it for the back. Remembering that the outside matches the outside. We will check the seam lengths before simulating. And now we'll simulate and it joins the sleeve there. Now we'll join the sleeve together to get a more accurate look at how it looks. So I'm pretty happy with that sleeve. I think I'm going to taper it in a little bit. So I'm just going to put that split back in the middle using uniform split. And I'm going to push this across about 20 in either direction, making sure to go along just the one axis so that the sleeve fits a bit more. And then I'm going to get the size of this, 236.52, 236.52, and I'm going to divide that by 2, because now I'm going to make the collar for at the end of the sleeve. And at the end of the sleeve, that collar is going to be 118.26. 118.26, again with this same bottom collar height of 40, and the reason we've done it in half is because the collar never fits the actual length of the sleeve. So now here's our collar for the end of our sleeve. 
or whatever it's called, if you actually know, just let me know because I have no idea. And then I'm going to simulate that onto the sleeve. Wait for it to wrap around. Then I'll sew it up itself. Pull it up into the wrist and we have my sleeve. And I think that's looking pretty well. There is a lot of material here by the looks of it. So we can edit that a little to get something a bit more suitable. And the zip layers messing up. So my opinion, there's a lot of material up at the top here. But we do have basically the same amount of material there. So I might just move this across a little bit. Not wanting to move too much, otherwise we're going to have some weird stretching going on. And I think that's got rid of just enough to make it look a bit better. Because your hoodie sleeve generally does have a lot of wrinkles. Okay, if you wanted to have much less, you just move this across again by about 20 this time, simulate, and I think that looks even better. So now we have a length of 210, which is a lot less than 228, but it's working fine. So now we got the sleeve done, we just need to actually copy and paste it onto the other side, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to do Control c Control v onto this side. You can also do a symmetric paste, if that's more your fancy, so Control c them both, symmetric paste, and then segment sew them to the inside, but what we're going to do is not sew them together, so we're not going to sew the sides of the sleeve or collar together, and in the 3D view we're going to right click after selecting both of them and do reset 3D arrangement so that we can rearrange these back onto the arm and they will work much better than if we tried to just re-simulate them from the copied position. Now we simulate and see what happens. Okay, so that's gone on top of our arm and it's just falling off slightly for me there, so I'm going to bring it on a bit. Oh. So we'll try right there where everything's a bit over it. And that should work. Try the sleeve again. And it's worked. And now we'll do the collar. Move it down a bit. Pull the sleeve back up. Pull the collar out of the wrist. Okay, there we go. Same for this side actually. The collar is in the wrist. If it's in the wrist too much, you can just increase the length of the collar and that should sort it out. But now we have the sleeves for our hoodie and they'll work in fine. Next we're going to make sure everything's on the default fabric again. So just going to select everything and put it as cotton. What I'm going to do is go to the cotton fabric and actually give it a tint of a different colour to that default fabric up there. I'm going to give it a grey so anything I make that isn't cotton will not be this grey. So in the next video we will focus on making the hood and then we will be finished in creating this hoodie in Marvelous Designer. So I hope to see you then. Thanks guys.